Ryan, welcome to Brompton Park. When did all this start happening for you? Um, well, I've just been on holiday at the minute and then whilst I was over there, my agent gave me a call um, and he'd said that Simo had been on the phone to my agent and kind of spoke me through the process. Um, so it's all happened a bit last minute, to be fair. Um, I've only known about it for a, few, like, a couple of weeks, but yeah, I'm excited. Yorkshire, your base to Carlisle, does that factor into a move like this or is that a side issue? To be honest, I didn't even think about it that way. Um, but, you know, Carlisle is a massive club. Um, great club to be at and I can't wait to get started. You've, you've had your, your loan moves already. You've played at this level as well very recently. How much does that help when you come into a club like this? Yeah, I think it helps a lot, especially for a young lad in this league. Um, you know, having that experience playing f like men's football previously is, is really good. And, you know, I had a great season last season with Port Vale in this league and we were successful, so hopefully I can do the same again this year. I might as well ask you about that now. What's it like to be part of that, being at Wembley, getting the promotion? Probably the best way to go up as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, when we slipped out the automatic spot, you know, I think everyone got a bit twitchy, but, you know, going to Wembley and doing it that way, I wouldn't have asked for anything better. Um, we had a great season and, you know, it'll always be in my memory, but, you know, hopefully we'll create new memories now. I know these are some of the bold statements, but you obviously want more of the same this, this time around. Oh, of course. Yeah, there's, there's not a better feeling. You know, you get asked about promotions and stuff when, you, when your career's done and to look back on promotions, probably one of the best things going. So hopefully we can add another one to the tally. So what is it that Simo said, Ryan, that's, that's brought you here? Because there has been other interest as well as the, the option to stay with Leeds. Yeah, you know, I, I've worked with Simo previously um, at England. So, you know, we, we've had that relationship together and being my manager before. Um, and, you know, Simo suits my playing style quite well. Um, he knows me well as a player. I know him well as a manager. Um, so there was a lot of interest there. As soon as I heard Simo's name, you know, it's, it's a big thing for me. But... Um, yeah, it's just it's a big club to be at. You know, he's told me that game times, you know, probably a great thing for me here. Um, which, when you're young, it's a massive part of it. You need to be playing games, scoring goals. So hopefully, I can come score as many as I can. I know you started at York. Great time at a great club with, with Leeds. Is there any sort of a, a wrench having to leave that setup, or is this just the next step? I think you know it's very rare you find a player stays at one place for his entire career. Um, and don't get me wrong, being a Leeds fan, it was a dream to be at Leeds for four or five years um, but you know like you said it's it's a bit of a stepping stone you, you move on in your career and hopefully I can come to Carlisle be successful and who knows where we'll end up. Fair to say you're at an age where you want to put your marker down now? Yeah of course um, you know coming into the game at 16 you know very early um, I think now at 21 you know like you said you need to stamp your mark in the game and hopefully I can come in this season and do that. For those who haven't seen you play it's a horrible question, I know it is, but <laughs> describe yourself. What will you bring to the team? Energy, um, work ethic, you know, just a lot of people know me as just a workhorse. I, I won't stop running. Um, even if I don't have the greatest time on the ball, you know, you'll get nothing but 100% off it. Um, and hopefully I can just match the goals with that. Um, and, you know, I can kind of come and be successful and find the back of the net a few times. Football being football these days, the news gets out somehow. The fans are already quite excited about this. What's that like to know, to read and to see? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, football, it's all about the fans, really. That's why we play the game. Um, so to have the fans kind of on your back, cheering you on already, it's a brilliant feeling. Um, and hopefully, you know, when we first step out onto that pitch, we'll have the same again. Fleetwood, Northampton, Port Vale, some great loan spells, Ryan. What have you learned about yourself and about your football through through the, those loan spells? Probably just maturing as a footballer. Um, I think coming into the game very early, you know, you, you make your mistakes along the way. Um, but we've been out on loans since a very young age, you know, going up to Scotland, like you say, Fleetwood, Northampton, Port Vale last season. Um, you learn a lot about yourself and, you know, you change, you do turn from a boy into a man. Um, and hopefully I can bring that new player into this season and we can have a success story. And part of that fans thing, they've been saying, come on, we know about it, we know he's coming, but you were in, in Australia for, for one reason or another. <laughs> Just tell us about that, and you literally got back yesterday. Yeah, so I went, I've been out in Australia for the past month, um, been out there, um, see a few friends. Um, and yeah, like you said, I landed yesterday afternoon. Um, Simo called me, he was like, how do you want to go about it? I'll, just, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> how exciting is this, Ryan? You, you've you've landed, you've got off the plane, you've come here, you've done your first hard day of pre-season training. What's it like to just be getting on with it? Oh, brilliant. You know, he, he did give me the option. He said, you know, you can 
kind of have a couple of days, just let your body clock re I was just, nah, get me into it. You know, get in and around the lads, get in the squad, get in the kit, get out running. You know, it's best feeling. I mean, it's not your football league debut when you come to play for Carlisle United, but what will it be like going out there with the Carlisle top on? Oh, special. Yeah, it's a special club. It's a massive club for where we are. Um, and yeah, just go out there and hear the fans behind you and hopefully get that first win, the first game of that season, you know, get us off flying. I'm still at that point of forming the squad, but there's a sense, isn't there, that we had what we had last season. I'm sure you know where we were and the struggles that we had. There's a sense of, let's put that right. Yeah, I think we've got points to prove. Like you said, you know, last season probably wasn't the best and didn't perform to the best of their ability. But, you know, I think this season can really put that right and we can lay our stamp down early.